Hey, Facebook family, it's Wendy and Col Col coming at you live. Happy Friday, May 1st. Unfortunately, we um, uh, here in El Dorado County, our mandate has been lifted. However, we're still waiting for a governor's approval. So um, keep your eye out for official opening date information. As soon as we get the go ahead, we'll definitely give you guys the thumbs up to come on back. I'm gonna actually show you a workout today. Um, it's going to be a little more ch more challenging to do at home if you don't have bands. Um, if you do have a band, this would be a great time to go grab them, seeing as we have about two minutes to start. Um, with the band, you can tie it onto your doorknob or you can trap it in the door. Um, so you could take this video with you on your cell phone and um, you know go somewhere where you have that ability to use a door uh, knob. If you do not have um, any kind of band at home, you can too um, even elect to get a, a jump rope and trap it in the door as well so you would uh, trap the the u-shape or the um the end of the rope so that you could use the two um uh, single ends uh, that are unattached you could use those for your handles and we can use those but i'm going to show you a couple things uh, that you can do when you do get back to the gym and again if you do have uh, bands that you could do these things at home this is a real life workout. So if you come back to the gym and you're like, I have absolutely no idea where to get started. I've been out for so long. This will be a full body type workout that you can do. I'm also gonna teach you how to adjust um, the weights. Um, so cables are the best thing that you can do for any fitness level. I don't care if you're brand new at lifting or if you're an expert at lifting, the cables are a wonderful complete system. Um, you could do pretty much every muscle group. Um, with the cable system. And I can teach you my favorite um, handles to use that can kind of give you an uh, all-inclusive workout. So today, hi everyone, hi Lee. Um, we're gonna just go ahead and get started. We're not gonna do a terrible warm-up today because we're really gonna focus on muscles today and contractions. So um, let's go ahead and get, get our, uh, ourselves situated. You can see this bar um, behind me. It's on the other side. There it is, right there. See this one? This is my favorite bar here. So um, it's got this little um, tip here on the end, this little rubber tip, and it's got this little uh, V shape here, and then it goes up into this little um, mountain shape there, and then back down on the other end with that V shape. So I really like this bar uh, for multiple things, whether that they're at shoulders, biceps, back, this one's all inclusive. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to use this bar we're going to go through three different exercises. If you have your bands at home, you can follow along with using your bands and then just follow the form. Form is always first. So um, I've always I've been a um, fitness competitor before in my life, and I've also run a fitness team. So um, running them through competition and getting them on stage has been one of my greatest goals and my greatest accomplishments in my life um, and of my time. So I take that very seriously, and I take fitness. Um, incredibly seriously. So this bar is what we're going to use first. You'll um, engage in a cable machine. Again, if you have your uh, bands at home, we'll use those. All right, let's get started. So um, with our grip, this one's going to be a downward grip here. We're going to grab the, uh, the bar as far out as possible without going over the little nubs. Before we even lift, we're going to make sure that we set the machine when you set the machine, you're always gonna place your hand on the top of the plate. Press down on the plates because the um, attachment's pretty heavy. So on this, we're gonna go really light. So right now I'm at seven and a half pounds here. I want you to start light if you're new to fitness. So we have a downward grip here. I like to leave my hand flat. So what we're gonna do here is sitting back in the heels, pushing through those hips. So we rock those hip bones back. We're pressing from the shoulder all the way down and squeeze. This is pretty light. If you're doing this from a door handle or a band, uh, you can pulse your knees. So I know if you're using something like a jump rope, it's not gonna have that flexibility. So if you have a jump rope and it's not gonna give you any flexibility, you can come up with the knees, okay? For those of us who are on the cable, we're sitting deep into the hips. Keep going. So 
So the chest plate is up, the chest plate is out. The shoulders are down and away from the ears and we're breathing. So here we're just warming up. So make sure to squeeze that bar into the lap, squeezing those rear delts behind you. Good. Good, we're gonna take a rest. This time we're gonna flip the grip. So we're gonna have the palms facing us and we're gonna grab just the outside. Our thumbs are gonna be on these rubber handles here. So you're gonna step back that same motion. I want you pretty close to the bar though. So almost underneath it, if you're pulling down, that bar should be right at your chest line. What you're gonna do here is those elbows are locked into your side and you're gonna press down and squeeze. You're working here the triceps and rear delts. You're also getting a reverse extension on the bicep. If you're doing this with bands, great. Trap it in the top part of your door, grab each handle and press down. If you're doing this with a jump rope, of course, your knees are going to have to come up because your band isn't giving any weight. For the rest of us on the cable or band, we're gonna go ahead and sit deep in the hips. Chest plate is open and you're breathing. Good. So with this um, particular weight, you could do several things. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the bar down so that we could do a bicep and shoulder. Right there, you did a little bit of back. So what we do is we pull this little pin up here. We wanna make sure that we guide this guy down so it doesn't just fall. We're gonna keep the same attachment on, however. We're gonna drop it all the way. All right, here on this movement, we're gonna grab that bar just to the outside. We're doing, um, the palms are facing away. You're grabbing those little nubs with your thumbs. If you're doing this from a door jam, you may secure, uh, actually, if you're doing this exercise with your bands, you can secure the band with your foot. If you are doing this with a jump rope, you may, um, well, it's gonna be difficult with a jump rope. So if you have a band, that's great. If you have free weights, that's also not a problem. So our chest plate is open, our shoulders are down and away from our ears. We are not pinching on our shoulder blades. They're just a neutral spine sitting deep into that heel. Now that bar should be underneath so that our arms are nice and straight, okay? What we're gonna do here is pull, keeping those elbows tucked in beside us. The elbows are not coming up. Knees are bent. Breathe. Breathe. Good. Now we're going to go right into our shoulders. So we're going to do a little V up is what I like to call them. So we're gonna grab the, um, the V on the bar. So not the mountain, but the V. So you'll be on just the first bend of the bar. You're gonna step underneath so that the bar is underneath your chin. If you were looking straight, that bar would be underneath your chin. Our hands are extended, arms are nice and straight. We are actually gonna pull with the shoulders here. So we're pulling up. The hands come above the shoulders. Those knees are bent. Breathe. Good job. So, so far you did your rear delts, you did some triceps, your biceps and your shoulders. You're gonna do that three times, that's one circuit. So you'll do the upper level and the lower level three times. Then we're gonna get into how to do your back, okay? So we're gonna switch out this attachment. We're gonna take the attachment off before we take the bar up or take the table up. Okay, roll the way up, right? Now, for safety purposes, you always put your equipment back. My second favorite 
favorite attachment is the rope. <laughs> so these are extremely universal. You can use them for just about everything. So I'm gonna teach you today how to improve your back by using this rope. So we're always gonna go on the higher level to start. I'm gonna show you a couple different strategies here. So with this one, I'm gonna increase the weight just a little bit, okay? You can do this with your cables if you have your, um, your bands at home. You can attach them into the door. We're gonna step far away from that cable machine. And so that I can breathe, I'm gonna drop the weight a little bit. Remember, always keep your hand on the top of the rack when you're changing the weight so you don't smash your fingers. So we're sitting deep in the hips. Our arms are straight, our head is down. We're gonna pull through and those hands go beside our hips. The head stays down. Breathe. Pushing all the way through to the hips. Breathe. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, beautiful job. We're gonna take it up. This is your second set or your second circuit. Each circuit you're gonna do three times. So with that first set of exercises that we did, you'll hit that three times. You'll run through the circuit, back from the dot. And I'd like to see 20 to 25 reps in each one of those especially as a beginner. Go light and form first. All right, this is our second back, back exercise. If you have your bands at home, um, elastic bands, you can tie this one to the doorknob. If you don't have bands at all, and you do have a cable machine, good for you. So what I want is a nice fit deep in the hips. We are gonna walk away from the machine so that you feel pressure in your hands. What I want is for those hands to be extended straight in front of you. And, be, and with those, those hips, if you have lower back issues, I'd like you to stay standing. I don't want you to sit. If you don't have lower back issues, let's make sure that we give a little more, shall we? I'm gonna drop it just a little bit because I'm a little, I'm a short girl. So I'm gonna sit deep in my hips and pull. Those thumbs come to my ears. We're not coming up from the sit position. We're staying in the sit position. Good. Now we're gonna drop that all the way down. So we're gonna pull that pin and guide that whole system down. Now for this one, it's gonna go behind us. A lot of people get pretty creative as to how they do this. How I like to do mine is I put a little pressure on the band and wrap it around. So what we're gonna do here is sitting deep into the hips. My, my elbows are right here by my ears, pushing straight up. Two, three. If you're doing this with bands at home, you can either put the bands uh, behind your feet or you can put them in the base of the door and close the door and try one arm at a time if the band's not long enough. Breathe. Here you're working that tricep, really getting that tricep movement. After this, we're gonna go right back into our um, bicep curls. So this will be your second set of biceps. So, so far you've worked your back, your um, rear delts, you've worked your triceps, you've worked your shoulders, and this is your second set of biceps. So by the time we're done, you'll have had a full body. Here we go. You're still using the rope here. Some girls get their little thumb smashed, so you don't have to put your thumbs under, okay? I always recommend wearing gloves when you work out, especially for newbies that haven't developed calluses yet. See how my arms go nice and straight? I'm not leaning forward here. My back is straight. 
I have to step away from the machine a little bit so I'm not touching my plates together. And you don't wanna get down too low either because you don't wanna eat crotch burn from the, the cable machine. So here we are between our legs. If you are using a um, band at home, you can attach it to the lower base of the door. Arms go back to nice and straight. I want a full extension squeezing at the top. You kind of bring the thumbs out beside you. Good. That is your second circuit. So you'll run through each one three to four times. Remember, I want 20 to 25 reps of each exercise. So you do 20 to 25 of each of those and then roll back to the top. The next piece of equipment that I'm gonna introduce you to is this little guy. He's actually one of my faves. So you can do a lot with this piece of equipment. All right, let's get started. Now on this particular cable machine, we are a little bit limited. So we're going back up, right? We pull that peg, we get underneath the handle and push, we're all the way up to the top again. We're gonna set the weight a little bit heavier on this before we attach that guy. So if you're using a cable machine, the heavier the better. All right, here we are, we've got our attachment on. We're making all these adjustments. Adjustments are fun, change is fun. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. This is going to uh, really work your lats. So if you don't have a pull down machine at home, this is a great exercise. So if you do invest in a cable machine, this one's a great one to do. So I'm gonna face you. I have a mat down on the floor in front of me. It's about um, six inches away from me. So what I wanna do is pull, put my knees down on the mat and I'm sitting in between my feet. So the heels of my feet are spread and I'm sitting my glutes between my heels. What I'm gonna do here is the elbows come out and I'm pulling that bar. I have the pegs facing you and the, um, the L shape facing away from me so that the L shape is behind my neck and the tips are pointing at me. Getting a really good lat exercise here. Good. Six, seven, good. You can do this with cables from your door frame or bands from your door frame. Good. We're going to take it up. Now I'm going to show you how to do abs from this little guy here. So this will be your third circuit. So when you do this, it's a whole body circuit here. I'm going to bring you guys down just a little bit so that you can see when I get down there. So for this ab exercise, what we're going to do here is pull our whole self down. This is going to be a little bit more challenging for you to do at home. If you have bands, you'll put your feet against the door. So you'll be sitting with your butt against the door. If you don't have bands, you can go into a plank position right now. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna spread my, my knees apart. I'm gonna make sure that my, my hips are over my knees. I'm gonna pull down and touch my elbows to the ground. I'm only hinging forward. My butt is not dipping down between my feet. Good job. Great, that is your third circuit there. So you'll do all of those three to four times over. You can also, again, when you have an attachment this large on, you have to be careful adjusting the machinery. 
So here we are. We're going to get rid of that mat so we don't slip. All right, here we are. We're going to do a seated row. I'm going to drop this just a little further. Good. So before you had your hands up, remember we were doing these for the, the rear delt. So here we are. We have my favorite little guy here. I'm going to drop the weight just a little bit. Yeah. Remember, when you're dropping weight, you always put your hand on the very top. So we're taking our body away from the equipment here, sitting deep into our hips like we're sitting down. If you'd like to do a wider stance, you're more than welcome to. And we're pulling and squeezing, squeezing the shoulder blades together. If you have cables at home or bands at home, this by tying your doorknob. You can even do one hand at a time if you need a little bit more resistance. See, I'm rolling my shoulders forward. That's allowing the scapula to open. So I'm doing a full pull. Stay seated in your hips. That was your third set. So you've really done everything from your shoulders, rear delts, biceps, triceps already. Now we're gonna do a little bit of legs, okay? I'm gonna show you how to do legs on a cable machine so that you have a full workout. We're gonna do legs and glutes. We have plenty of time to do both. So when you get back to the gym, you can pull up this video and roll through a full body workout. So I'm going to keep this attachment. We're going to go all the way down with the cable. I'm going to set the weight really high. So if you're just starting, 80 to 90 pounds is, is probably where I'd want you. If you're more advanced on working out, probably 130 pounds is where I'd want you. If you're more advanced and you've been at the gym and you are familiar with this equipment. I probably wouldn't use this attachment for somebody who's more advanced, but um, there's a really long bar I would introduce to someone with uh, gym experience. So we're gonna use this one just for the purpose of teaching. So we're gonna have the little handles pointed down on this one. So I've got my weight set at like 50 pounds or so. So what I'm going to do here is I'm, I'm walking back, my feet are nice and wide, and what I'm doing is sitting down and squat, it's a front squat, but notice that my back is nice and straight. I'm going to turn the camera so you can see me because I'm a little bit off screen, okay? I'm going to just turn you just a little bit. Hi. So I have a nice wide stance in my feet, I'm going to push through my heels here. My back remains straight, squeezing the glutes. Squeeze. If you can wear knee wraps for this. Good job. That is one leg exercise that you can do with the cable machine. Gonna turn you back. There. Dave's working out right now. Hi. Yeah, Lee, where's you at, boy? Okay, so we're on the cable. I've got a single stirrup here. This is normally for single-handed bicep curls. I'm dropping the weight down to about 12 pounds. Um, I do not want you using any more than 20 on this if you're just starting. So when we're using, you can do this at home too. If you tie the end of your band, your resistance band, you can use that. 
what we do is we put our foot into that stirrup. It's gonna be in the arch of your foot. What I want you to do is use the wall if you're at home, or if you're on the machine, you can use the cable itself. Make sure you're not using anything for support that a weight is sliding up or down. My back is nice and straight here. I'm not rolling my hips under, they're rocked back. What we're gonna do here is pick the foot up off the floor. The um, planted foot is nice and soft. So my knee is bent on that planted foot. Here we are kicking back. My hips are not twisting out. My hips stay parallel to the floor. You're getting hamstring work here from the planted foot and glute work from the working leg. And switch sides. That handle is going to go right in the arch of your foot. Walk it back. Plant yourself. Again, make sure not to obstruct the weight. Fingers first. Planted knee is soft. Kicking that one all the way back. Beautiful job. That is the beginning of round four, circuit number four. We're dropping the weight all the way down. I'm at seven and a half. For this exercise, I'm gonna go down a little more. Ooh, these cable systems can be sticky. So I do not recommend you doing this with anything more than 10 pounds. You can also use a free weight if you're at home and you have a resistance band. That wrist is in front of you. I do not want that crossing over because you're straining all the tendons back here. Your chest is parallel to the floor, sitting deep into the hips, pulling on a nice flat back. That arm stays straight. You're doing this with resistant bands at home, that's great. Stay seated. Eight, nine, and switch sides. Ready? Sitting deep into the hips. The arm is nice and straight. Nice flat back. Chest plate is open. We're not twisting. So what I'm not doing here is this. I'm not doing that. Back stays nice and straight. Good. We're doing 10 today, but remember, I want 20 to 25. We're going to go ahead and up that weight a little bit. I'm going to about seven and a half pounds on this machine. This is called, I call it the lawnmower. So we're staggering our step here. The arm is right here in front of me. What I'm gonna do is just like I'm trying to start a lawnmower. What I'm not doing here is twisting. My back is parallel to the, my chest is parallel to the floor. And we're switching sides. Remember to place your hands somewhere safely on the machine where you're not obstructing the cable or your weight system. Sitting deep into the hips and pulling with the elbow. Good job. Now, as I was mentioning before, having trained myself through five fitness shows and various um, fitness competitors through multiple NPC shows, nutrition is always first. And, you know, I need to practice what I preach right now because being home, it's really tough 
to stick to a uh, nutrition plan. So you really need to focus on pre preparing your meals in advance, pre preparing. So <laughs> it's easy for you to say. So if you can make sure that you're meal prepping before or making healthy options, meal options, that means not purchasing the things that you're not supposed to have, that will help you to stay on track. So that and also making sure that you're contributing to your calorie intake by burning calories. That could be taking a walk with your family. That could be even just taking a bike ride uh, individually to clear your mind. Um, that could be doing jumping jacks at home. That could be taking your stairs a couple times a day. It could mean, excuse me, that you're going to skip a high calorie drink and that you're going to add, you know, infuse your water with uh, uh, cucumbers and limes and, you know, a slice of lemon or orange. Little things like that can help you reduce your calories while almost also making you feel like uh, you're not being cheated. So um, the thing about diets is that if you do end up overdoing the diet end, you end up failing because your body, you know, it needs to feel like it's being rewarded. So you can do that in a healthy way. Um, there are some rice cakes, um, you know, the general um, Quaker Oats rice cakes or whatever brand they are. You can choose any brand. There's some people who have allergies to certain foods. So make sure that you pick something that, um, that fits your nutrition needs. But the caramel ones are amazing with almond butter on top. So the thing with peanut butter and almond butter is it's very easy to overeat. So you really do need to take the tablespoon and scoop it in and only use that tablespoon for one, you know, one or two rice cakes. That's your treat. So don't think that you're going to go out to donuts in the morning. You can use a rice cake instead. So use a rice cake, the chocolate rice cakes. Those are fantastic with um, sugar-free strawberry jam on top and a glass of almond milk. So the 30 calorie ones, great. You don't need to have the 60 or 90 or 120 calorie milk. The 30 uh, calorie milk is perfect. Try to, of course, avoid any kind of dairy. It is inflammatory to the system. Um, so that's a really great way to feel like you're cheating, but you're really not. Um, I use a lot, um, we have a child with a gluten allergy, so she has celiac disease. So we are very mindful of little snacks that we could have around the house. Czech cereal has an awesome blend. They have a vanilla, they have chocolate, they have cinnamon. I mean, they have an amazing uh, choice option. So sometimes I'll just add those to popcorn. That's our time, but um, like I was mentioning, you can add those to popcorn, um, infuse your water with different fruits and, um, and herbs that will help you to feel like you're getting something. You could use the zero carbonated water and still add the, um, the fruits to your beverage. Uh, that's another way. I like, to, um, I like to eat oatmeal, but when you're at home, the instant oatmeal is a really bad choice because it's loaded with sugar. So if you are at home, Flavor Gods has a really great um, array of dessert options as well. I recently um, purchased the uh, gingerbread one, which is absolutely incredible with bananas. So if you're using oatmeal, you can actually mash the bananas. Um, so if, you know, if I were at home and I wasn't working out, I would use maybe just a quarter of a banana and I would mash that up with the Flavor Gods gingerbread and I would put that into my oatmeal and it's amazing. So a half a cup of oatmeal is only a dry, a dry scoop of um, oats is only 150 calories. Plus the flavor, flavor gods is zero calories. So if you add that, you're getting virtually no cal calories and it's absolutely delicious. By adding the banana, you're getting the potassium and you're getting the good fructose along with your complex carbohydrates. So if you mash that together, you've got energy <laughs> for your morning. So I would say that and a wonderful cup of tea in the morning and you're good to go. I wouldn't um, overeat. Please be mindful of the calorie intake while you're off. You're gonna be back soon. And when you do get back, I challenge you to do this workout, run through all four circuits. And I'd love to hear your advice as to what you think. And if you need any more fitness or diet exercise advice, we're here for you. ElementsLakeTahoe at gmail.com. We are so excited to be back pretty quickly. We hope that you're doing well. Happy Friday, make good choices, and we'll see you soon. Have a great day.